Did you ever wonder how makeup artists lay fake hair? In this video, I'm gonna share with you a technique I use to lay hair that will really add some dimension to your next makeup. Right here, coming up. Hey, what's up? It's Mike here from Get Zombed, helping you take your SFX makeup skills to the next level. And on this channel, we do SFX makeup tutorials, technique demos, and how-to videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, and I encourage you to browse the channel for additional content you may like. Chances are, if the content of this video caught your attention, there are many other videos just like it on my channel. And hey, at any point during the video, check out the YouTube description below, where I'll put any links and additional details I may have missed or not covered in this video. All right, so let's jump into the video. Laying hair is really easy once you know the basics. I see way too many people messing up this simple technique. The idea is to lay the hair in a pattern and not just clump it into one area. Just slapping hair onto a makeup with no real direction will never look good. So how do you do it correctly then? Well, first you have to decide where the hair you're adding is going. This will determine the direction of the hair growth. A beard or mustache would need to be applied differently than, say, hair for the top of the head. This example I'm going to show you is just to demonstrate the basics. This technique can be applied to many different scenarios. Okay, so I'm working on this zombie Grinch makeup, hence the green skin and green hair. You'll want to start with the hair furthest from where the hair growth would begin. For a beard, that would be under the chin, and for this video where I'm adding sideburns, I guess you'd call them sideburns. Yeah, we'll just go with uh, sideburns. I started at the furthest edge of the side of the prosthetic. Lay down some adhesive, either prosate or spirit gum, but do not use latex for this. You will create a giant mess. Since the Grinch has a really thick coat of hair, I laid down a piece of the hair material I was using. If you were doing a beard or something like that, laying down a thick piece like this probably wouldn't work so well. So once you get the first layer down, you want to start working your way towards where the hair growth starts. In this case, the center of the face. So once you get the first layer down, you want to keep adding layers over the previous layer. To do this, you might have to add more adhesive to stick the hair down to. Next, I'd recommend getting a little pinch of the hair you're using and cutting it so you have a bunch of hair that starts at a common spot. Then fan that hair out so you have a thin layer. Now you can place it on the adhesive you've already laid down. The idea is to make thin overlapping layers that flow in a similar direction. You want to keep laying down layers until you reach the area where the hair will stop.
once you're close to the area where you want the hair to stop, you'll want to add thinner and thinner layers to blend it in, unless the makeup you're applying requires a hard stop in the hair growth. Additionally, to color the hair, I found some acrylic paint mixed with water can be used and light washes to tint the hair to give it the full effect that you would want. And this is all dependent on the hair you are using. And that's it, this technique will give a great effect and will really add more dimension to your character makeup. So was this video helpful? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to add any suggestions for future videos. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this one and I'll catch you on the next video.